From the land down under, with the rock at its centre, comes the little Aussie watchman. The new standard, guilty, even after proven innocent. In this new era of Trump, black is white, up is down, truth is false, green is red and helicopters are, well, grass. The establishment media and political sphere have been working in overdrive to try and delegitimize the presidency of Trump, the outsider, the one not in their club, the one that wasn't part of their secret lodges and their strange customs. Instead, the Trumpster hails from a completely different world, and he is not only savvy, but rich enough to be relatively immune from their relentless barrage of false accusations and character assassination attempts. Just take the Russian delusion hoax. Trump has been exonerated not once, not twice, or thrice, but four times, that's right, four times. One was the House Intelligence Committee, run by Congressman Noons. It found no Trump, Russian, collusion, or con- conspiracy. Then there was the Senate Intelligence Committee investigation by Richard Barr. This also found no Trump, Russian, conspiracy, or collusion. Then there was the Senate Judiciary investigation, also a non-starter. And then we have the biggest and baddest of them all, the special counsel investigation run by Robert Mueller. And surprise, surprise, there was no Trump-Russian conspiracy or collusion. But despite being proven innocent four times, Trump remains under constant and continuous attack by both the media and the Democrats who are pushing ahead with the conspiracy theory as they strive towards impeaching the Donald. Just listen to the words of the deeply partisan Robert Mueller as he laced his exoneration of Trump with barbs meant to cause him political harm. For example, he said, If we had had the confidence that the president had clearly not committed a crime, we would have said so. Bear in mind, he said there is no evidence that Trump committed a crime. But in this tipsy-topsy world of guilt and until proven innocent, or should I say guilty despite being proven innocent, the truth no longer matters. What matters is impression. What matters is the dark shade of guilt one can paint despite the evidence being clear-cut. It matters what the storyline is, what the headlines are and what the twist is. The truth is not even a close second. It doesn't even finish the race. If you ask them why they want to impeach Trump, they are unable to give an answer that has any basis in fact. They want to get him on obstruction of justice. But there is virtually no evidence of Trump obstructing justice at all. And even if he used his authority to ignore subpoenas and stop White House officials from being interviewed, which he didn't, he is completely in his right to do so and unable to be charged with obstruction. Firing Comey had nothing to do with obstructing justice, as Comey's role in the special counsel investigation was less than negligible. But facts like these are unlikely to come to the surface in the dog-eat-dog world of Washington politics. The main reason? The elite and the establishment are terrified. They have been caught weaponizing the US intelligence services to set up and entrap their opponents. They have lied and schemed. There are so many high-ranking figures involved that they are now fighting for their very life. They are fighting tooth and nail in every way they can. Hopefully, truth can rise. And all of the things that were done in the dark can be fully exposed for all to see. Their nakedness and their filthy corruption needs exposure in order to root it out of American politics. The most powerful nation in the world needs justice to rule within its ranks so that the rest of us can rest easier knowing that the US will be less likely to rule the world with its propaganda and its lies. (laughs) 